morning, you bad, beautiful bitches. It is Wednesday morning, and we are officially hitched. Hello. Peep the bling, ladies and Hello. gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Love is on the horizon for you. I can feel it. I can okay. feel it, too. Can yeah. Feel this almost is, there. This is your year. Almost there. 100%. Peep the hardware. We're married. <sighs> Not a big deal, but a bit of a big deal. Huge. It's taking some time to get used to I know. Every ring. time I like look at you, you're playing with it. I feel more... Uh, I feel older. Right. Mm. You know? You look great, by Thanks. the way. You, you look like a new man. You look great. With that ring, and you, look oh, at that thank rock. You. Stop it. Holy crap. Did and you have any help with that? Or was I that? did. I had, she helped me pick that up. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Well, I was yeah. going to oh, say, there's yeah. no way. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. He knows me too well. Right. And a new name change over here. Well, for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, easier for guys, I suppose, after the wedding, right? Because nothing really your changes, name. Mr. You know? Kevin James Cootie. <laughs> there was a moment we get. If you're listening to this episode, we're gonna do a full wedding recap for you of the full day, December 16th, which was the 150th anniversary, 250th, 250th anniversary of the Boston Tea Party. Hello, yeah, that's why we were Hello. in so much traffic. Did you know that? Oh, I yeah. had no idea. They December? were doing like a full reenactment of the Boston Tea Party, so that's why it really? took so long. Yeah. It did take us like an hour to get off. Yeah. Just that, off panel. Though. Yeah. That was yeah. 200. What are the odds of that? December 16th, 250 years ago. <laughs> What's the Boston Tea Party. It was the Boston Tea Party. Imagine that. I know. That's crazy. They were like, Holy. no taxation without representation. Right. <laughs> I didn't realize it was in like the middle of winter. Right. I mean, I also. Pretty bold. Know. Could have been a nor'easter. Right. I'm sure the Brits were all hunkering down like, it's too cold tonight. Right. Surely with. Santa's coming. Right. They're not going to do something outlandish. I actually <laughs> think that might have been it, right? Wasn't that how, wasn't, weren't they like, oh, it's too, I don't know. I don't know. Don't I don't know. Who's to say? Who's really? to say? It's history, <laughs> yeah. you know. But anywho, we are hitched. So let's start from the beginning. Okay. Shall we? Um, Instagram, I'm just kidding. Um, no, not that. Well, anymore. my day starts <laughs> earlier than yours because like we have to do hand makeup and all that stuff. Guys don't have to do shit. No. Didn't have to do <laughs> anything. No. <laughs> Call and I, it was great. It's like being back in high school. I know. We just hung out the whole day. We just drink. <laughs> the amount of hilarious jokes we were making, because my mom gets to the bridal suite, right? Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, I ran into Colin downstairs in the um, lobby. He's going to find me dunks. And we're like, poor Colin. <laughs> like, <laughs> running around the streets of Boston right now, trying to find my mother dunks. I know. too nice to say no. Well, no, because I walked out, and she was standing right there. And she was like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm finding a dunks. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> she's like, right, right, right. She has right. a in her hands. Yeah, she wants exactly. dunks. Okay. You look better with some coffee in your hand. Right, <laughs> right, right. But so she gets upstairs, so she tells us that. And we're all like, okay, cool. And she goes, guys, it's not weird. Like, it's not weird that Colin's going to be coffee. Is it weird? Why are you guys <laughs> acting so weird? And we're like, none of us are acting weird. Right. Now we're a little suspicious. Now I go, like, Mr. Tomato, <laughs> here you go. Yeah. yeah. And Don't tell cheek. anybody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. okay. Your mother also caught Colin and I. So the we had everyone get to the wedding on Friday uh, before the wedding to do the rehearsal dinner. Mm-hmm. And Colin and I are walking back. First thing we did, we get to the, we check into our rooms. And then Colin and I link up. And we're like, we need booze. There's yeah. no booze in our in our rooms. <laughs> so we go to the liquor store. We're walking back. Your mom catches us red-handed. <laughs> imagine three thirty racks. Imagine your hey. future daughter's husband, right, is sitting there was- with his best friend. <laughs> With just two bundles of booze. I'm like, this. actually, Mr. Buck, can you take this? It's getting pretty yeah. heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 412. Yeah, lose circulation <laughs> over here. Yeah, we needed a couple beers. Because, we like like you said, your beers, it was eight <laughs> 30 bracks. I know. It was enough to get eight dudes hammered. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, it's because you got so much to do. And yeah. then we have, we were Nothing. sitting there. It's like, well, we got to at least have a beer. It was Because you get up at, as a bride and a bridesmaid. You get up at what time? Uh, so ours wasn't too bad. We started getting ready around. I think they started showing up at eight thirty. First person in here makeup to you was at nine. I was up around seven. Oh, okay. Just to get like everything. So it's not terrible. Not horrible. But it depends. Like we had a small. I had a smaller wedding party. So. A what? Purdy. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you. you uh, we had what? Five and five. Five and five. Yeah. That's not so, bad. So and then I had like our moms too. Obviously. The craziest part about that whole evening is Friday night we do the rehearsal dinner oh. and then we're back at the lobby bar <sighs> and you you have your college roommate talking to your uncle right and you're like what wh- in what universe would right. they ever be speaking together yeah. and what are they talking about I, you know what I mean interesting stuff because they were hammered everyone <laughs> I and maybe it's just because I was more 
uh, not as like on edge as I was Saturday night. Right. But like everyone Friday, including ourselves, were hammered. Hammered, dude. Hammered. You want to talk about hello, Mr. Cootie. My, that dude can put them down. My dude. father <laughs> is an old school Irishman. Dog. And doesn't drink much, really. He'll have a glass of wine every now and then. Right. But boy, when he unleashes, we took shots. Of a beverage that I don't even think you could take shots of. No, you're. We did shots of Basil Hayden. Dude, it's almost illegal in nine countries, I believe. When they pour Basil Hayden into a glass, it looks like syrup. It was one in the morning, dude. And I literally looked at everybody and I was like, I'm out of here. I'm hammered. (laughs) And Mr. Cooney, Colin, you're not going anywhere until you have this. Get over here. And if it was anybody else, um, no, I'm not doing it. Mr. Cooney, it's like, it's almost, I'm not going to, I'm not a bitch, right? right. <laughs> and I don't want to be disrespectful. So he hands me this cup. It had to have been JMO bourbon. It was just, I smelt it from like the bar and it was the full <laughs> glass. And Mr. Cooney takes it like a gentleman. Everybody <laughs> takes it. I took it, dude, and ran into the bathroom immediately, threw up <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Not everywhere, but in the toilet. Park but Plaza Hotel, Park gorgeous Plaza. bathroom. <laughs> gorgeous. Aren't they marble. If you were to puke, isn't it nice puking on some marble? I know. Right. So I ran in there, uh, boot and rallied at your rehearsal dinner. That was You the did crew. bounce back. Oh, yeah. Oh, There's yeah. no way to get drunk. I mean, I only drink wine, but like... After the seven pastas we had at the rehearsal <laughs> dinner, I don't uh, think yeah. they wow. did. Like, my, yeah, that it was, was a bold, <laughs> dude. Uh, after the third course, I was like, "There's got to be some chicken." There's because there's something coming for that. Just more pasta, dude. It was, but it was so, so good, good, though. It was so <laughs> good. Yeah. It was so good. Backtracking because he knows my father's gonna listen to this yeah. episode. <laughs> it really was. It was so good, though. That place was nice. Yeah. That but was it fun. It's funny because like your parents called not that like a few weeks before and was like, "Oh, we're gonna finalize the menu. Like, what do you guys want?" And I was like just making jokes obviously I mm-hmm. eat always but I was like oh I have to be in a white dress the next day I'm probably just gonna like chew on some ice cubes so like don't even worry mm-hmm. about me everyone's getting full and I'm like I'll take the rest of your pasta right. and I'm like <laughs> scoffing it down but, like, it oh, was an wow. unusual the worst was your weddings put you out of your like day to day routine right like I, you know when you're it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday you kind of know where like your wallet is where right. your car parks your keys your phone I was so scatterbrained we pull up to the <laughs> rehearsal at the church. We had a wedding sign that I brought over that says, like, the like Cooney the wedding. Sign, yes. Yeah, with, like, the this date. hand crafted. Mm-hmm. It's hand crafted. Right. It was a thousand <laughs> years yeah, old. Yeah. <laughs> and I get out of the Uber, and Uber pulls away. I leave in the trunk of the. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yep, yep. We no more get into the church to start rehearsal, and our videographer is sick. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, this is off to a hot start. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, this is. And everyone's there, like, family from both sides. Right. So you're, like, smiling through. Right. Like, and we're, like, on the altar with the, I don't know what you would call it, but, like, the church coordinator. And you're like, I'm sorry. I'm not usually on my phone, but pretty much everyone for tomorrow like, came. Everything's on yeah. So yeah. I got to do this. But it all worked out. It, it did. Oh, yeah. Have it your videographer out. canceled, though? Not even barely 24 hours in advance? Sketchy. Oh my God! Sketchy. That was uh, the sign was whatever yeah. in the back of the Uber. Yeah, but whoa! I was right. like, <laughs> I know. Shout out, uh, Big Night, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Big Night stepped right. in and clutch. Morgan for doing um and your something Morgan. blue. Yep. Um, for the content, so we we have ample videos now. I'm sure people following yep. me on TikTok are like, okay, you can actually stop now. <laughs> Always smiley, Hurley is his uh, Instagram. Happiest face. Happiest face. There it is. <laughs> Josh, what a legend. Oh, yeah. yeah. Came in He's clutch. Amazing. So clutch. And yeah. when we pulled up, after yeah. the, right there. Yeah. yeah. Right in your face. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah. That was, and the wedding itself, the church, gorgeous. The venue, gorgeous. That was, uh, that, that was good. We got a lot of people that liked the uh, priest. Like a lot of our, yeah. especially my college buddies that are not so much, you know, on the religious side. They were yeah. like, wow. Because yeah. how he talks right. is very, like, you know Normal. When, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, like, no, yeah. You're in a book yeah. and they just use big words, just use big words. Right, you, right. you can't retain it. Yeah. He'll like melt it down and give you like the street lingo. Yeah. What yeah, they're yeah. talking about. No, he was good. Made a lot of eye contact. I was right there up in the in the front and he like walked up to us as he was saying something. He was like looking at me in my soul. Dude. Does he know? <laughs> Does he know my search history? Exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say that's like I think why everyone likes Father Michael, because like he talks to you. Like Yeah, like, I know. Like, literally like so you like you almost like have to listen. I I was all in and I stopped, I'm just like because <laughs> I see you guys sitting up there and I'm like, oh my god. That's my best friend. Dude, I so 
This is one of our questions. We're going to end this show by doing like a questionnaire, but one of the questions while it came to me is, uh, what was the, my reaction when you came down the aisle? Mm. I thought I was, Colin and I were jo- joking in the room getting ready. I was getting more choked up in the room. Mm. But I think when you're in front of like a crowd like that, you feel like, like there's so many eyeballs on you. And you're like, oh, I can't fucking right. start. <laughs> right. You I'm, know? O- I'm over Kevin's yeah. shoulder. Just, I'll cry for yeah. you, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can I do it say, for you. Because, like, you know me at every wedding. We've gone to friends' wedding of yours. And, like, I don't even, like, know them. Yeah. And, like, I immediately start crying. Like, it just, mm-hmm. I, like, I only happy cry. I don't, like, sad cry. People die and I'm, like, awkward. But. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 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 awkward. But, so I was, like, this sucks. Like, we were talking about this for months. I was, like, I don't know what I'm going to do at our own wedding. Because, like, I'm not going to be able to make it. Mm. And I didn't shed a single tear. I think a lot of it was kind of because you're like so focused on, uh, like being not even like being present. Like obviously you're present, but like I just like my like no one else was really like around. It was just yes. you and me. Oh, oh. That's love. No, I'm gonna call that love, hombre. But I also think like if you start crying on your own day, like like if I started crying, it wasn't gonna stop. So right. I almost like yeah. knew like shit like And there goes you, the makeup. You, right. You know what I mean? Like come on. Yeah. Now. Do you even have waterproof mascara on? You know? I don't right. think I did know. See, these so, are questions. Yeah. I don't know. Makeup artist, you know? <laughs> but yeah. it is. It's tough. Yeah. All when it's when you're up there, it's uh you gotta bend the knees when you're up at the altar. Yep. Keep the blood going. A lot yep. of people faint by locking out the knees. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Real time. Were you watching videos before? No, I, I bent up uh Sean, my older sister's wedding as groomsman. Yep. Shout out Freddie. Is that his wedding? Mm-hmm. You know? Dan's wedding. Dan's wedding. Hello. Hello. Shout out my cousin okay. Dan. Yep. I was in my wedding. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <It was laughs> so sick. Yeah. Okay, let's fast forward. Okay, but about Please. that. So what we were saying, so it was uh, Boston Tea Party. So we were 20 minutes late to the church in general. So when people were like, right. did everything go right? Like, I thought you were standing me up. I was like, uh, she should be here by now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like, I don't know. Everything that like went, I mean, nothing went wrong. No. But like, that was why like everyone always asked like, how aren't you guys stressing? It's like, because you know something's going to go wrong. So how are you going to start pre-stressing about something? So like, right. whatever. We made it to the church and it went well. Yeah. We but were we super calm. That, yeah. Even leading up to the wedding. You yeah. guys did you know? great. Dude, your entrance, bro, <sighs> that was like, when we used to talk about like when Lil Wayne would come out yep. and we would just watch those videos. That's what I, dude, I was looking up. It was like, it was like the king and queen, dude, doing their thing on the, it was, the, it was so beautiful, right? And the was, place looked amazing and you guys come out and it was just, the entrance was something else. That was the favorite part. That was I told sick. him, I was like, I, you can pick the entrance song. I won't veto a, well, did you like the surprise I had for you guys at the church with the violinist? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was so she, the violinist was, was playing uh, right above it by Little Wayne. Yeah, as dude, left that the was yeah, that dude. was so cool. Probably first and last time you play Little Wayne in Jesus' house. Even Jesus was like, really, <laughs> right, right. I think Jesus did like lighter flick. It was like young Mula, man. Dude, well, then when you guys were coming out, and shout out to Hurley for the uh, for the mix, dude. And then uh, everyone, we're all standing there, and everyone started dying because you guys are coming out, and all you hear is young money, <laughs> and everyone lost it, dude. Because it's like you know, at Kev's yeah. wedding, like you're. He's going to come out, and that's just the entrance. Just young I said I wouldn't veto it at all, and I didn't even hear it until it happened. That's what everyone was thinking. It goes, young money, and they're like, fuck, Ashley's cool, dude. She lets (laughs) him do that. (laughs) (laughs) I hope my girl lets me come out to freaking Stone Cold's entrance music. Hurley, walk us through the the making Mm -hmm. of that song. Well, I had that made a while ago uh, when I showed you guys on the podcast before. And honestly, I was shocked to say to hear that you actually wanted that as your intro because <laughs> I've like, I mean, I don't, I haven't done many weddings before, but that might be the most intense intro to a wedding <laughs> so possibly to ever exist. It was so awesome. And then I was like, how can I make this a little more interesting than a song that he's already heard before? Mm-hmm. So then I decided to use a little AI, oh, hello, oh. record my own voice. Yeah, oh, that was like, your voice, and you AI'd it. Yeah. Wow. You dog. I know, I, know you. I joked with you that I just. Called up my friend Wayne, <laughs> <laughs> the little had, had him right. say it, but uh, yeah, wow. no, that was me. That was my voice. That, that was fuck, awesome. dude. That was Red awesome. Ball. Yeah, it w- so I'm driving back. I drop off Ashley at the hotel mm. with like a thousand bags. Right. I'm doing trip number two. Go back to the apartment. Truck is packed, mm-hmm. and I get a text from Hurley. 
And he's like, listen to this, let me know what you think. And it's just an audio file in text. I hit play. And yeah, that's the first thing I hear is, young money. And I knew, I was like, that's whatever it. comes after this, <laughs> doesn't matter. instant yes. Yep. I wanted to make it a surprise for you too, but I also didn't want to make, I wanted to make sure that like, it wasn't gonna. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. That was, was so good. It was so good. And of course, typical us though, like Hurley's literally texting us the day before the wedding, like, hey, uh, yeah. do you guys know what you want to come out to yet? <laughs> That's like, how oh, nonchalant right, right, right. the whole thing was. Like, yeah. I feel like I remember for my sister's wedding, shit was planned months in advance. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, entrance song was literally chosen Friday, four thirty p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Eastern <laughs> Standard Time, like, like literally twenty four hours before it actually goes live. Right. But that was that was awesome. It definitely yeah. worked out. That was. It was surreal, like being up there and like waving to the room, and then yep. you see like. Everyone you love is under one roof. I know. You know? And you're like, yeah. wow. This yeah. is crazy. It's cool. Yeah. While we were out there, we got to see like the doors opening and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Hurley, how was it? Uh, so we had a um, cocktail hour in this room, and then these big doors open up to the reception, mm-hmm. so, which is like a surprise for people. These doors like slowly, silently open out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, how was it, Hurley, like, people's reactions coming into the room? Do you catch any good glimpses of uh, some facial reactions there? <laughs> you know, it was really funny that it kind of reminded me of is, you know, when <laughs> – this is going to sound good, but, <laughs> you know, in, like, a farm when, like, the <laughs> farmer will, like, open up a gate yeah. and the sheep don't really know where to go? <laughs> it was kind of that because the doors opened and then everyone in the cocktail area were, like – looking in and then it just took like one person to break the ice and then people started uh, yeah. floating right. I, it's a good point it yeah. was definitely Chris too who was like oh, well, <laughs> yeah. oh, no. well cause we were upstairs hiding and there's no real spot to hide up there so we're literally yeah. like crouching behind these like pillars right and then we yeah. see the doors open. <laughs> we see everyone like a couple of pictures taken and then, uh, yeah, to Hurley's point, one streams in, and then yeah. it was yep. like the they rest of the herd was like, oh, it's safe over there. <laughs> yeah. I know, because Colin was out there waiting with the And another thing with us with the entrance, remember, we, like, picked one song. Yes. And we're like, oh, aren't you supposed to do, like, parents, parents, girls, guys? And we picked one song for them to en- enter to. Mm. We're like, no, it was don't perfect. figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah, we were all sitting there uh, behind the doors. And Jade was like, <laughs> we were looking at each other, like, what are we gonna do? I told, I was like, I'm rolling the dice as soon as I get out there. As soon as that beat drops, I just <laughs> start going out there like crazy, dude. And we that was it. So it was pics of you dancing. I, yes. Oh my gosh, dancing dude. Machine. Colin I is a love dancing to queen. Dance. Yeah. As yes. soon as as soon as Hurley dropped the beat, well, listen, I didn't want to go crazy on the clam chowder, which was crazy right. good, by the way, because <laughs> I knew I was going to be That's dancing. That's not like slaying. Like, he literally means Dude, the you guys yeah. like the yeah. clam chowder, the lobster light. roll. I was like, right. you guys are going to kill I me. I could have you down for a nap. I know, but uh, Jade was out there. Credit to her. She, I saw her walking out on the dance floor first one, and yeah. I was like, well, come on now. That was, and that was it. Then we all flooded. Everyone was dancing all night. That's how you know it was an awesome wedding. That was, like, that was, no uh, one stopped dancing. It was sick. I remember we had to take, after we eat, we had to take like all these picks with like family and stuff. So we're still playing like we had Christmas music playing while everyone ate. And then like pictures were just taken forever. Yep. And finally I was like, Hurley and I talked, we're like, whenever you're ready, just like let me know and I'll start playing real music. Yeah. Picture going on and on with the pictures and I'm looking around, I was like, We gotta flip this place. Right. It's like flash Hurley the thumbs up. Yep. Hurley that jumps was... on the ones and twos and starts breaking it down. Yeah, that was so fun. That was... And you're right. Uh, a lot of the weddings we've been at to, some have stayed till the very end yeah that credit to hurley hurley your ability to read the crowd mm-hmm. well thank you is a next level right you know <laughs> looking over the crowd more Lil wayne yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i had an easy out if i ever got stuck yeah, more <laughs> Lil wayne. there's a video of colin and i no one this is like the night's just started <laughs> and and i think it's probably the first we're maybe an hour into dancing and a wayne song gets dropped and, like, people use Wayne to kind of, like, go get another drink. <laughs> <laughs> and the only two people that are breaking it down, singing every line, is yep. Colin and I. And yep. <laughs> Hurley is a great, like, selfie video of, <laughs> of you and I just, like... <laughs> Staring at each other. Yes, rapping six foot seven to yep. each other. That was so fun. That's a wholesome, though. That's yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was. A little Wayne, baby. But even, you got a compliment from my own father, which, as we all know... That's good. Nearly impossible right. to get... <laughs> And they were, my mother and father were blown away 
at DJ Hurley's ability yeah. to mm-hmm. do what he does best, which is yeah. DJ. We're going to have to come out to the Grand with you guys. Uh, right. I know. <laughs> we are so overdue. Just sitting behind the DJ booth with your mom. Isn't this great? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine everywhere. a parent's Grand Night? <sighs> wow. I'll stay home. You guys can break them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah Ashley's uh, pretty much over going out. Ever again? Yes. Ever yeah. again? Ever. She's ready for Good. babies. Yeah. You know? Which, speaking of babies, Ashley and I are, are in a real heated debate about baby names. I. You no. have a new baby name I that do. has entered the chat. I really like it. I just can't pronounce it. Let's just run through it. Hit me with, hit me with it. Decca. Like... You know, like Eric Decca, like Big Dick Decca. Hey, <laughs> it was a child we're talking about. No, right? She grew up, and I mean, no. I mean if he's born with Thor's hammer, I mean, more power like to Black him. Black Decker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, instead of the last name, obviously, because the last name's Cooney, Decca Cooney, and mm. Colin actually liked it for Decca Colin Cooney. Decca Hello. Colin Cooney. Hello. Our kid will have Colin's middle name. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. Obviously. <laughs> I, I can't wait for you guys to start popping them out, dude. I'm so serious. I think you're gonna have a boy first. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and then two girls. That's it. How dare you? How many of you guys? How four? many of you guys shooting for I want four? Three, she wants four. So maybe yeah. we want four. Ideally, you want an older brother if you're going to have the the girls as well, right? Just yeah, to, you know, See, protect I, the. I almost the crew. go the other way because I well, this is funny because how Colin and I grew up. We had Shauna first. Oh yeah. So yeah, in yeah, my yeah. head, I'm like, oh, older sis, she's going to be like the nerdy rule follower, right? You know, retainer or braces on, but you guys can't stay out past eight. Right, jeez. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I could never stay out past eight. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys aren't staying out past eight. Mom, yeah, yeah. Kevin's staying out past eight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like a little bit of a tattletale, which I think I like. Right. Yeah. It's right. To right. kind of like calm the other kids. Right, down. right, right. Right. Well, either way. So, whatever you guys have. Kids are on the, yeah. Ha- yeah. What about uh, like female names? Oh, I got mm. the whole list. So, uh, Brielle. Boom. Um, Aria. Aria. Um, Giovanna. Giovanna. Like Gia for sure. Those Those are like the top three. Giovanna Cooney. I like that. Yeah. So I'm thinking like Italian first name since. It's all mashed potatoes at the end. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Um, So those are the girl names. Boy names are not too. Like you liked uh, Julian a lot. Yeah. It's it's, Julian. It's growing out. uh, The more I. Say it, the less I like it. Right. Mm. Julie for short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Julian is a good name, though. It's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I like Decker a lot. I really yeah. do. Yeah, and then Decker Kane. I liked Kane. And then you like Cash. I Cash do like Cash. 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 Dude, if you. And okay. imagine the middle name is Money. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cash, Money, Colin Cooney. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Dude. Cash for real, dude. Is that that's like seriously on the table? That's though? very much on the table, dude. That would that's be the front runner for dude. The coolest <laughs> for dude. That would be the Cash coolest Cooney. name. That would be cool. Yeah. And that whenever he does his initials, and you're cool CC, with that, he puts the money line to the scene. right. She's cool with it. You're cool with it. Not the money signs. No, but you're like cool with cash. The, like the yeah, C cash. is like a cent sign. Right. Fifty cent. Yeah. Cash. <laughs> but you are cool with cash, just on record. I am cool with cash. Dude. Okay, so see, that's cool. That's I need a girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like you're gonna let me come out to young money. Right. Call my son Cash Money Records. Right. <laughs> but I just <laughs> You know that'll be their nickname though. Right. Cash Money cash Records. Money. Where dreams come, come true. Yeah. Fuck up my dreams. <laughs> and he's got instant <laughs> intro music for any sport he plays. Right. Anytime and he, he says cash. He would money, honestly be like, just having that name, he would be, like, the cool kid. I mean, come on. Right. You can't be named Cash and not be and just be the coolest the kid clarinet. in school. Right. Not that clarinet players are not cool. Well, he, he probably would play the clarinet and be the best right. damn clarinet That's player true. you've ever seen. Cash? Cash. He's cash. He's money with everything. <sighs> There's so many cool sayings. I think we that lead too. with cash. I think Decker's, if we have a boy number two. Decker. Boy two, go for Decker. Right. Boy one, cash. Right. I think, dude, Cash, you got me hooked on that. Right? Cash. <laughs> what should we name our babies? Cash. <laughs> <laughs> Colin's going to steal this child. Cash, yeah. dude. Cash. It is a, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think that's a All good right, name because well. I always thought of a boy's name. Dude, I like Rocky. I like Rocky. You, you, you've, he's always. I've yeah. always said Rocky, but the problem is, is like everybody's got a pet that they've had named Rocky. Or like right. my cat was named Rocky. My right. dog was named Rocky. A real human. So. Right. <laughs> you know what I what mean? What would be the middle? 
Uh, Kevin. Balboa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Rocky right. Kevin Vegan. All right, should we take some Instagram questions? Yeah. Shoot. Uh, we dropped a poll on Instagram saying, open Q&A, ask me anything you want. First question, what Italian traditions did you implement in the wedding? You actually ha- helped make these, too. So we have the bombonera. So there, there were five Jordan almonds. It's health, wealth, happiness, fertility, and a long life. And um, I put, like, the prayer on a Vistaprint card, and you helped wrap them all up. Did you get them, the Jordan Alms? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Did I left mine. Did you eat them mm-hmm. now? Were they even worth it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They're great, great tradition. You ate a ton while making them. They are scrumptious. Mm-hmm. You could lose a teeth, though. Full disclaimer. A tooth. Yeah, thank you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you could lose a teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> All right. Do you have any single male friends in Boston? Hello. Whoa. Just one. <laughs> you, don't, you got Hurley back there, I believe. Hurley? Oh, yeah. Hurley. Oh. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's actually God. hilarious, though. So many pitches from the wedding. It's just Colin and Kyle, like, way yeah. back that you can see. <laughs> yeah. Right. A little two, twin towers. Yeah. Hello. Two giants. I know. Uh, Colin, single. Comes single. to the show. DJ single. Hurley. Producer of the show. Yeah. Single. And Banger DJ, yeah. right in Boston. Except you know? he won't do any of my Christmas DJs that I keep tagging him in for the wedding. Those are diabolical. The Polo <laughs> Express one. Gonna, that one is great. <laughs> diabolical. That those you Hurley, you really should do those. Those yeah, are. I'll, I'll consider. <laughs> <laughs> Rips the idea in half. Um, fave memory slash part of the wedding reception. Reception. So that's post church. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Colin, what you yeah. kick uh, fave memory of the... Well, I'm not going to lie. The food was amazing. Food yeah. was good. Food was so really good. good. Was and usually I don't eat that. I don't like eat everything at weddings usually. Yeah. I was plowing at your wedding. The food was good. <laughs> and then after that, the dance floor. Obviously, see, your guys' entrance and then dancing all night. Yeah. What about yep. yours? Uh, I would say similar to Colin, but I did... I did like having it was just I wish it la- it's interesting like the wedding they say it goes by so fast mm-hmm. which it does hindsight looking back but in the moment it feels like it's going by like proper time mm-hmm. but it is just crazy having like everyone you've pretty much ever known yeah and have a real relationship with under one roof yep is something that like I wish you could like emulate that outside of a wedding right like imagine going to a bar and like your everyone from teachers you had, right. college roommates, so like you best friends like from them. home, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, cousins, aunts and uncles are all just hanging out, right? Yeah. Like I wish it la- like something we didn't do that in another world I wish we did was I, I say that like kind of half and half was go to the after party after the wedding. Mm-hmm. For us, it wasn't like we were just like it doesn't seem appropriate for the bride and groom to go to the after party, you know? No, but you like, guys are in your room, yeah. Doing stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Cute? Yeah. (laughs) Right? Right. Right. But we were saying, like, even, like, I think it's different because, like, we had a lot of people who were, like, just trying to get back home on a Sunday and stuff in Boston. Mm. I think people are trying to get out. But um, we, like, didn't do a brunch, which, like, that was kind of like that half and half thing again, too. Like, we're happy we didn't just because so many people had to get out. But then at the Mm -hmm. same time, it would be fun to have, like, another, like, post day with everyone just, like, actually... Because, like, there's so many people that, and I don't know if one's, like, upset by it, but there's so many people who came who, like, I said hi to, mm-hmm. and I, like, didn't get to, like, talk enough with them. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could just, like, sit and talk with you guys all right. night. But, like, it's not enough time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think for me, my favorite was the first dance, honestly. Mm, that was yeah. beautiful. That was nice. Mm-hmm. That was my favorite. And just, like, being with everyone. But I think if there was, like, a specific moment, it would yeah. probably be the first dance. Something we didn't do, we had a lot of uh, debates back and forth prior to the wedding, I'm like, should we go get dance lessons and do like a formal dance? Oh, like full blown. For us, it just seems so weird. I'm so happy we yeah, did no. it. I'm happy. Like, like a if, dancing with the stars type exactly. of deal? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Coming it just seems leg. so, right. yeah. Because then everyone's sitting there like, you, this is, you practiced? And we're not going to be <laughs> like dancing with the stars. So if it's not like A++, right. yeah. and we're sitting there like kind of fumbling, Right. We're like, we might as well have like yeah. an intimate. Now moment. time for the yeah. judges' scorecards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just like a little the, wobbly there in the ankle. The mindlessness of it. Like it was literally just you and I. We kind of like got to talk a little bit about the day. We were like, oh my God, we're married. Like if we had to sit there and be like, okay, in five, six, seven, right. and eight, like it, yeah. it wouldn't be like, and I'm not turning down anyone who's done it because it's beautiful and your wedding day should be whatever you want it to be. But I think like for us, like 
imagine thinking about that next dance move. Like yeah, we got to right. like sing the song to one another and like look at know. each other, realize yes. we're married. I'm in love with you. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah the five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That, that day you have so much to work. And then my own mother also wanted a choreographed dance. Oh really? I was like, that you want me to go for two dances. Right. <laughs> Do Two dances here. No way. Seems but like a she, lot. she did great too. Oh, she looked yes. gorgeous yeah. too. She did. She yep. did. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, that it was, I it is like a moment you wish you could drag out yeah. longer, you know. That was good. Um this one's for Colin. Any advice last tips for grooms on their wedding day? Yeah, just don't forget the beer on the way to and from. Yeah. <laughs> that was my biggest thing. We're sitting on the trolley in lots of traffic. In oh, lots of traffic. Yeah. And I didn't have the beer. Right. So I was literally running out to the store. And then I finally ran down the block because the traffic, we were just sitting there. Yep. Ran down the block, went into the store, and then realized I left my wallet in your bag. You know what I mean? Like in the room. So I had the beer. Couldn't it's even buy it. Buy it. Get to there. <laughs> Could I do an uh, IOU? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's better than money, here. sir. Yeah, yeah. That's an IOU. <laughs> but yeah, probably uh, definitely just don't forget the beer. Just have drinks on you for everybody. Yes. That's, yes. that's what you need. And probably a healthy balance of, you know, some water and snacks. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, you know we're, we're fresh off bachelor party. Right. <laughs> I have not to change from that, but just uh, going off of what's it called? A groomsman, best man thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I have the best pictures I have to show Colin of us laughing after you made your joke during the Oh, show. yeah. That was the best. Made ever. a tough joke here. No, I think that it. was everyone great. It. it was yeah. the scariest was moment of my life. Was it nerve wracking? Getting So Colin made a best man speech, obviously, and right. rushed. Just was it nerve wracking? Like, Preparing for it. A little bit. Like, because like, I think what threw me off was when I made, like, I had it all here. Yeah. Right. And then I made the joke, and, like, the reaction was almost like they're very shocked, like, very surprised. And I don't, I think my, I think the way I said it was off. Like, I needed no. to set it up a little bit. I better. think it was great. Everyone was dying laughing. They loved it. Yeah. I, I literally had people coming up to me after being like, don't even worry about it, dude. My table was laughing. No. <laughs> I I like, think, dude, dude, wedding speeches dude. are tough. Like, I made a 9-11 reference in, a, in Freddie's wedding right. speech that I gave. Right. Very appropriate. Very appropriate. <laughs> it, but, but I think when you're up there, it's tough to, like, hear the whole room. I know, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Or, or immediately in my head, if a joke doesn't, if it's not over, if people aren't throwing up laughing, yeah. I consider like a loss. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But no, the whole room was That dying. was me, yeah, because I, I, I said, uh, what did I say? And, and the funny part was, was you were, you're good at football. It was a dirty lie. It was, Call yeah. him lied. I said, me and Kev were, I said, I was hanging out with our buddies we used to play football with the other day, and although... Uh, we found Kevin to be pretty much useless at every position out there on the field. Ashley, we hope you have better luck with him tonight. And they just, I got, all I heard was like a, whoa. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. I think, just too, when you're nervous crowd. about it, like, you're prepping yourself, and you're like, oh, no. Oh, no. I know, yeah. I know. Like, you know. And then right after, I was like, don't worry, I'm almost done. Well, and I think, <laughs> That's I bad think as it watching stand-up comics you hear the laugh track, mm -hmm. and it ruins yeah. your volume of what you think a laugh should sound like. Right, right, right. Like, in right. person, if you go to, like, a comedy anything, there's chuckles, obviously. Yeah. But there's never, like, this loud, equal volume to the microphone you're talking to. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Whereas <laughs> anything you watch now, you're expecting, like, oh! <gasps> right. <laughs> and you, you hear it, but it's like... Right. You know I, I, mean? I literally said it, dude. I immediately look at Kyle. I was like, you bastard, dude. Because I go to Kyle like before. I was like, this is going to work. It's going to kill, dude. It's no, gonna it's kill. perfect. I love like, it. Perfect. I said it. And I just look at him and he's just got his phone out just laughing the, his those ass are, off. Oh, shit. My 9-11 reference I made was uh, I, I was the best man in a buddy of ours, Freddie's wedding. We grew up with him. And I was like, Freddie and I have been through everything. First grade together, uh, playing sports together, opening up businesses. Uh, 9 11. Hello. I was like, we were young, but we remember it. Yeah. Remember that? And it really divided the room. Half, <laughs> really half, really half laughed. Divided. The other half was like, ooh. Right. <laughs> but you hear that part. You hear you the hear ooh. Outweighs like, it for ooh, sure. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, you're, and then you sit down and you're like, I don't even want to be at this wedding. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Give me a beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. But you got, no, that was, and you had the signature drinks, which oh. killed yes. it. Yes. I, I don't really uh, go too hard on Moscow Mules, but I think I had about 15. Colin, <laughs> Colin was drinking lie, Moscow <laughs> Mule like it was a Bud Light. It was great, but they were it so was, good. Those dudes at the bar, they were great. Hey, yeah. Suri, how much alcohol is in a Moscow Mule? 
Hmm. Well, now she's bringing up. Right. But they were, and what was your drink? I did, because since I only drink wine, but you get free, well, it's an open bar, but you got the table side wine. Mm -hmm. I did a ornament teeny. And it looked beautiful, too. So it was too. like in an ornament, and it came in a martini glass, and it was just like a vodka crayon, uh, like pomegranate crayon. And then we had like greenery and pomegranates and mm -hmm. stuff in it. It was like really cute. But I, so I bought all those ornaments. And I bought a hundred of them and I was like, oof, like this is going to be tough. Like, is this going to be a huge waste of money that I just spent? Mm -hmm. And we didn't even get to the speeches yet. They all sold out. Really? All my friends were coming up to me like, I've had 10. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, like save them for everybody else, guys. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find the alcohol content in a Moscow meal because Colin, I would look over at him. He'd have a full one. Yeah. I would do one like, dun, dun, yeah. nah, 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 look yeah. back at Colin. He'd be like, I'm going to go up there and get another one. Yeah. He was crushing. Dude, yeah. It was, they, they went down so easy. They're, they're so good. They are, are they good. Great? They are really yeah, good. I'm, I'm shocked you don't lie. drink it more because there's ginger beer in there, which yeah. calms your stomach. Right. So ginger's super good for your right. stomach. Yeah, yeah, I was. those th And they work, let me tell you. <laughs> Hello. Have about 15 of those. Let me tell you. What do you Ch mean they work? Change your whole life. Yeah. Work meaning they get you drunk. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm it's like, working. It's yeah. <laughs> I'm out there I'm trying to do terrible. a head spin. No calling. <laughs> there is no, a I moment got it. though where you're dancing and there the alcohol hits you, and all of a sudden I was, I could feel myself dancing like the Wolf of Wall Street when he's like. Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, you were. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh yeah. But you felt loose. <laughs> yeah. the alcohol. In your head, you're like, this looks so cool. Right, right. <laughs> right. And you're just sitting there, just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks horrible. <laughs> Oh, my God. Anywho, uh, moving on. Oh, here's another one for Colin, actually. Sweet. Did your hot friend Colin ever find a <laughs> date for your wedding, or is he still single? Who said Dude, these things? You, this is Ashley Flynn. Ooh. Hope Ashley Flynn doesn't have a boyfriend that you just outed her well, on. Well, right. <laughs> I don't, I, she's asking those questions. Let's hope she doesn't. You, know? you were in hot commodity there. Oh, I gosh, put up an Instagram story of... Uh, a picture of Colin and I, and I added his at mm -hmm. on top of that on Instagram. You yeah. got like uh, 2,100 link clicks on Hello. Colin. You could see that? Yeah. I sent the... Do I, you have to... Because I can't see that shit. You Because mine's not a... No, you should be... You go to no, like I think you need no, like a business a account business. or something. Oh, right? you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. To be able to see 2,100. Holy hell. Where are they all at? Does it does it say where they're Dude, at? Dude, if twenty one hundred single horny girls showed up here right now, <laughs> you would be so screwed. Well, see you later, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you would. Yeah. What would you? Uh, yeah. To answer your question, no, didn't find love. Right. <laughs> um. Still, yeah, still looking. You know what I mean? I yeah. Know. It's out there. It's gonna, it's gonna, that's, dude, I was just, cause your, your guys' wedding was so gorgeous, dude. I'm sitting there like, I want one of these, dude. I want, I want one of these. <laughs> I want a <laughs> wedding. Like on Amazon. I want kids. <laughs> Damn it's it, coming. I want our kids to be friends. It, I know. I know. <sighs> Don't worry, we have four, so we'll right. still have them. Right. When, yeah. That is the okay. tough thing, though. Like, as you age, to plan having kids with other, like, like, ideally, our kids, Colin and I's kids grow up same right. age, yeah. you know? Right. Or, like, we, yeah. sh like when we were kids, it wasn't even a thought. Like, oh, yeah, my brother's or sister's five years older, three right. years older. Right. And now trying to, like, map that out, you know? It's like. <laughs> yeah. I know like, my cousin. So, like, now all the cousins are married. And my cousin who was married first, she's like, I'm waiting until someone else has a kid first because I don't want my cousin, my kid to be the First weird older cousin. <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm like, that I'll take one true. for the team, guys. Don't worry. All right. Yeah. Uh, here's one for you, Ash. Anyone give you any inspirational wisdom on your wedding day? If so, what was it? Anyone? Uh, I'll, I'll. While you're thinking, I'll take the first uh, whack at that. Uh, Chris Graham, Jackie Graham's father, actually oh, gave what some a great guy. advice. What a guy. Uh, this is Friday at the bar. Everyone's blackout drunk. Yep. <laughs> and he said it so perfectly. He was like. Fuck everyone else. Mm -hmm. It's your guys' day. You guys are a guest at this wedding. You're not. Some people, I think, play the manager role as right. bride and groom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The host, yeah, making sure everyone's good to go. Mm -hmm. He's like, fuck everyone else. It's about you two. And it goes by like that. And I was like, yeah, it's. And it did. Just about right. In hindsight, looking back, I was like, yeah, it did. It did yeah. fly by. It did go quick. You know? Um, I think that the. I don't know if it's like necessarily the most inspirational, but I think the number one most recommended piece of advice and when I mean most I mean well over a hundred people DM'd me this 
was to take a moment, just like bride and groom step to the side and like take in like all your loved ones in one mm. room, which like we automatically got like being able to hide out up top. Um, and then just to never lose, lose each other through the whole night, which like you and I were very like good with that. Yes. And like spoke beforehand too. Cause like I've been to weddings where like from afar, you can see the bride and groom don't even know where each other are. And mm-hmm. I'm like, that's just so sad. Like, I don't know. We were like attached at the hip, which I loved. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I Made agree. your rounds too. Just go yeah. on. You got to make your rounds. Make your rounds. Yeah. We had a manageable amount. It was like 150 people. Yeah. And we which were is able- what we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. We- Her- mm-hmm. And that is a like. We've gone to some weddings where it's like you get to like high two hundreds, right? And it's like you can never. By the time you make your rounds, you have like maybe an hour left of the whole event, yeah. right? You know, and we were like, oh no, there's, oh, no. there's dancing, right? Right. right. Um, this one's interesting. Something you wish you had done at the wedding, and something you could have done without. I know. I honestly got that question a lot. I think. I guess what I would have done is, I mean. I, like the brunch the next day, I totally would have done that. Yeah. Um, I also wish we got to eat some of that pizza. Uh, I really dude, upset did you about get that. that. Where's the pizza? We had late <laughs> night pizza. When the fuck did we get ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> there was pizza. There was pretzels. There was eclairs. There was fruit tops. Oh, I saw. So I, tiramisu. I saw the pretzel thing, which was awesome. Yeah. That yeah. Like pretzel wall thing. I didn't see the pizzas. Dude, when did those come in? We. I didn't even see them either. We was had, that after the reception? Like at the. It was like last. No, it was. It was with the pretzels. Yeah, it was there throughout the last couple songs. I didn't see it. was for any. the last, it came out at 10 and then it ended at 11. <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty sure I ate so. Colleen's clam chowder after I finished mine, so I, I had enough anyway. Uh, was, <laughs> I, I, was I, I'm with you on that. I wish we got the pizza. Yeah, yeah. I know. And it I wish great. we did the brunch after. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you're planning it, like we've gone to so many weddings where when they have the brunch, you it seems can't. like such a long endeavor. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, I got to get there on Friday. I'm going to be, we're in the wedding, so that's a rehearsal dinner you got to be at. Right. Then it's all day Saturday. Then it's the morning of Sunday. You're mm-hmm. like, well, let me go. All. I know. Well, it's like, but as the guys, like we said earlier, like we, like the day before the wedding, like it's like you're up running around 8 a.m., got the makeup artist, right. everybody getting ready, dude. We, I, we were sitting there in your room. Your dad walked in. It was like 9, 30, 10 a.m., cracked a Miller Lite. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just sports center, cracked another one, literally waited. Because, like, when you guys do it, how long does it take for them to do your makeup? Like uh, if you're it's about 45 there. minutes. Right. And you had five of them? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's intense. Well, seven, because then mom's. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it also took 45 minutes. Colin comes into Ida Suite. <laughs> Colin comes in. We're drinking a little bit. This is, like, as we're getting ready. Colin decides to take a 45-minute poop in the bathroom. <laughs> Don't act like you probably didn't, too. I know, but this one. Dude, Jade honey, comes in. She to... goes, what the fuck? It was, <laughs> we had to open our door. We opened the door. I put a water. She came with Roman. Yeah. Oh. I put a water bottle case in the doorway so we could have some air. There's people, like, open up their room. I was nervous. Looking down the hall. Being like, what is, are you guys, what is happening? Right. So we're, so like, we were getting married, all of us. I was, I was nervous. Heaving. I was so nervous. I'm, I was nervous. Now I'm dry heaving. <laughs> Yeah. The whole room. Oh, lovely. A yeah. oh. little bit of IBS kicks in. Yeah. Whatever. The time I mean? without, though, we d- stayed at a pretty minimalistic necessity wedding. I don't think there's a single yeah. thing that I would have, like, done I without. Agree. Uh, yeah. I think some advice for those planning weddings is, like, don't, don't, don't panic. <laughs> some people think it's, like, king <laughs> and queen. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Advice for planning a wedding. Run. Don't do it. Run for the hills. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, people get so caught up in, like, like we ran into, actually, we did the uh, pre canna which Pretty is what? like the two-day event you got to go to if you want to get married in a church. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We met another couple there, and they were hyper-focused on the honeymoon. Oh, my God. It was insane. Mm-hmm. They haven't even started planning the wedding yet, but they have the whole honeymoon planned out. I was like, mm. oof. Skipping yeah. a step. I Sounds a little materialistic, babe. I, you know? I think my best advice to anyone that we were very good with from the very beginning and very grateful for um, is to, like, please remember and focus on why you're getting married. Yeah. Like, the wedding is a day, and... Like, not that it doesn't matter because we had an amazing day and I loved it and it was so amazing. But, like, us getting married, like, us, our vows to one another, like, that is the marriage. Right. And, like, that's what we focused yes. on. Mm-hmm. Everything else, like, yeah, something, well, my veil fell off walking down the aisle. Who cares? It went back on. Mm-hmm. Like, things will happen or, like, but, like, who cares if you don't like your flowers? You know what did happen? That was a total surprise. And I'm curious, Hurley's hot take on this. We had a violinist at the church. 
Mm -hmm. The same violinist pulls up at the reception. How freaking cool. Unannounced. Mm -hmm. It was the craziest thing. I loved it. <laughs> Starts doing uh, Smack That, I believe was the first song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, the Smack That was cool. Though. And she's very professional. Like, I hired her for just the hour of the church. And I saw her going back and forth with the organist. And she was like, I'm going to show up like a half hour to an hour early and just make sure there's music playing like prior. Which mm -hmm. I was like, that's amazing. Because like, I... Like, already paid you, and I didn't pay you for that hour yet. Mm -hmm. Like, so thank yeah. you. Like, that's very, very nice and professional. And, like, she wants to also make sure she looks great doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. loved her. You guys will love this one, uh, seeing how we all grew up. Uh, will you guys practice gentle parenting? <laughs> oh, my God. That. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. You go. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> yeah. That was that conversation I had with a girl at work mm. the other day. Um, I'm we're by no means abusing our children, but I think probably all three of us, we were taught what the word no meant from a very young age from and a, what from happens a, from if a you... Stern, from a stern look down. Right. You know? And if you don't listen, you knew what was coming. So very right. early on, we freaking listened. Yes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. that will... Our kids will be oh, yeah. taught the exact same way. They'll be taught to... Yeah. <laughs> they will be kind dealt with you. accordingly. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think it's important to have a healthy fear of your father. Oh, okay. yes. definitely. Because totally. like, if you don't, you're gonna run you yeah. you run the house. Right. And if that's the case, then this is just a jungle. Yeah. Yes. So you got you you're gonna get spanked in the Cooney household, okay? <laughs> like, is I'm what it is. Italian so from this is Italian yeah. like a couple of light do you kids like a couple of light slams every now and then? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm oh. an Italian from East We didn't get tough just by yeah. right. gentle parenting. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I right. think we <laughs> etch sketch gentle parenting. Yeah. Get a I little more real. Though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good God. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Anywho, in closing, we're married, huh? We're married. The Coonies, Wild. look at us. I know. It's got a nice little ring to it. The Coonies. Got a great you know? ring to it. I know. Every time my mom calls me, she's like, hello, Mrs. Cooney. Mm -hmm. like, I, Hi, mom. <laughs> I look spoke. back at all the videos and pics, and I that whole event was like very out of body. Mm -hmm. So looking back at the pictures and videos, I'm like, we did this? Yeah. What? We were in? When did this happen? Right. What did we? Because it, you know? Yeah. Half it, you're like, you like black out for. Right. You know? I would say I was very pleasantly surprised with how... Um, much I like I a hundred percent oh, we got a lot of questions like w looking back at it now would you just like elope like was the money worth mm -hmm. it was like all this stuff worth it and a hundred percent like yeah. I think we were like it was truly just such a happy day like you're saying to be surrounded by every single person that you love to like share your love with everybody like it was just it was it very pleasantly surprised me because I was always like oh like Everyone always says it's the best day, like blah, blah, blah. And yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. Wow, that was like really, really yeah. cool. And it's good to have yeah. that for your kids down the road. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. guys have those pictures, yeah. all that, 100%. all those videos to show them and stuff, and then all those stories. Yeah. It's nice yeah. to have a good wedding. We got another question that we won't go into the numbers of it, but they asked, what was your budget for the wedding? We stayed. Here's, here's my advice. If you got to go into debt oh, to God, pay no. for the wedding, don't do it. No. Right. Dude, we could have asked. Like, for us, we paid cash for the wedding. Didn't go into debt. There were so many things we could have. We got mm -hmm. offered, mm -hmm. like the we were gonna do a checkered floor. Oh, it was gonna look like a. So cool. It was gonna look like a, a chess board. Mm -hmm. Checkered that floor, dance wild. floor. Was it eleven grand? Uh, it was fourteen thousand dollars. Holy. Fourteen thousand dollars for a checkered floor. We said, yeah, we'll, we'll keep the floor that yeah. comes with yeah. the hotel. Right. Like stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. even flowers. Like a lot of people always said flowers were gonna be a shocking price, and I'm like, oh yeah, expensive. But like I thought. Like what? What was already expensive to me, and then what actually was was like. Yeah, give him, give him the quote for flowers. So I wanted, even from the very beginning, I wanted kind of the bare minimum flowers, mind you, too. Like I never wanted crazy flowers. I wanted just baby's breath, and I was getting quoted twelve to fifteen grand, and I was like, I'm sorry Is for I didn't crazy? want the church. I didn't even want the cocktail hour. I didn't want roses. I wanted baby's breath centerpieces that is it and because boston i was contacting people out of boston in the city you had trans because it was december it was boston and just because you could because it's a wedding yeah 10 to 15 grand so that's, that's i found wild. someone who would do it for me it was a friend of mine i she's my calligrapher too pedal and ink but i was like okay like we can utilize all that money in other ways, which we didn't, I think, mm -hmm. elevated the day a little bit more. And totally. I still think our flowers looked great, but I've never left a wedding 
at a wedding, I've been like, oh, those flowers are pretty. But you should see the Delilah. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've never like talked back about a wedding and been like, the flowers were like the most gorgeous thing. And honestly, if the flowers were the most gorgeous thing at your wedding, yeah. then you did it wrong. Like your love should yeah. have been the most gorgeous thing well, at the wedding. Right. Well, I'm just saying. Well, like, what put? <laughs> so we just, yeah, we prioritized our money different, which I think also elevated the look like those candles. I yeah. think really elevated the look, and that cost well under a thousand dollars for all those candles. Mm -hmm. It's you start adding the so. stuff up though, like so dance floor, fourteen grand, which we didn't do by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, your flowers, would you say ten to fifteen? So we'll split say it. Say twelve. Say yeah. twelve. Twelve hundred bucks. You're 1, at twelve thousand. Yeah, I put that. You're oh. at twenty six thousand dollars in a dance floor mm -hmm. and some flowers. The original photographer I um, contacted, which I'm so grateful we didn't get because our photographers were. Freaking amazing! Yeah, they were awesome. Was fifteen grand? Another fifteen. That's crazy. Yeah, he's just a photographer, not That's videographer, crazy. was included dance floor in that. flowers photographer. You're at forty one. That's thousand dollars. That's most people's wedding. Hundred percent right there, like a forty fifty. Look, grand. That's not the Stupid. venue. That's not right, the church. That's right. not the dress. The food. Like, the food. Right. Yeah. The trolley. Right. The transportation. Oh, that too. The transportation. Like, Originally, we were going to do Kevin's dream. Another thing we cut out. Kevin wanted a horse and carriage ride for every single guest at the wedding. 100 horses. <laughs> 100 horses. They used to do it here in Boston. Not a, a big lot. deal. So, right. sound, didn't sound crazy when Paul Revere and company were riding right. and we horses We could have skipped that traffic afterwards. Yeah. So Dude, you could have taken an equestrian on the sidewalk. <laughs> Imagine just a cool 100. You come out of the church. That would be wild. And you have to dude. get your grandma up onto the butt right. of a horse. She's like, I've never ridden a horse. <laughs> you are today, Nana. Right. Oh, you've ridden your husband plenty of times. Right, Get up there. Right. Even the trolleys, we saw our wedding, gorgeous wedding, and again, whatever, but they rented trolleys for every single person in the wedding, which was absolutely phenomenal. The trolleys alone were about $1,800 per trolley. Right. Mm -hmm. So now you get four or five trolleys for your entire wedding party. That's... 12 to 15 grand in just transportation. Right, yeah. And it's like, so like, I think people just need to stop worrying about what the look of a wedding is. Like, what can you do? What's most important to you? And that's it. Like, no one's going to look back and be like, ugh, we didn't pay for transportation for everyone. I mean, it's no. a mile drive. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sure the Ubers were like eight bucks. But like, I'm sure if people are complaining about that, like, how was your steak, honey? Right. <laughs> it was a very nice steak. <laughs> Here, here's a, when I started calling wedding venues like yeah. after we got engaged and stuff, I was like slowly starting to plan this. Here's a wedding hack for you. Call your dream wedding venue, but just say you're hosting a charity event. And <laughs> ask didn't. what the, the price, price is but. for that charity event on a Saturday night. Right. And then book it. <laughs> because it's <laughs> going to be it. a fraction of the cost of if you call that same venue... Like, here's a great practice. Call the wedding venue and say, I want to have a wedding on this date. They'll give you the price. Mm -hmm. Call back and <clears throat> muster up your best Southern accent mm -hmm. and say, I'd like the same date, but for a charity event. Watch the price difference is crazy talk. Insane. Like, we want, we originally wanted uh, State Street. State room. State room. Well, we thought we wanted it. Was it was 55 grand just for the venue. Oh. Right? But if you were having yeah. a charity Event. No, I call them. That is hard numbers. Fifty five thousand yeah. for the stay room. If you have, if you want like a just a business event, mm -hmm. if, if our company was gonna have a business party there, start like twenty grand. Right. Yeah. Charity we ended event. up not wanting them anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you guys event. chose the right spot. Yeah, we did. Yeah. 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 Right. Anything else? You two? Hmm. Curly, any final uh, thoughts? Takeaways? Babies. <sighs> Paperwork for the babies. 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 Yes. Babies now. Baby cash. 2024. Right. An Instagram photo near you? Right. You know? <laughs> well, hugs and kisses, ladies and gentlemen. This is another podcast. Peace. Peace.